Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we're learning about ledger lines, those little black lines that help extend a staff either up or down for extra high or extra low notes. Let's come over to the staff to get started. Sometimes in music, we want either really high or really low notes. So high or so low that they go off the staff. When this happens, we'll need to use ledger lines. So let's review how they work. Up here, the top line of treble clef is flag F, which is right here on the piano. If we want to go a step higher than that, no problem. We can just place the note head on top of the line, but still just barely touching. That note is G, a step above flag F, and right here on the piano. But what if we want to keep going higher? We could put the note head here, but now it's just kind of floating in space, and you can't really tell what note it is. And that's why we need ledger lines, so it's easy to measure and tell exactly what the note is. So if we want to go a step above this G, we use a ledger line and put the note head right on the line, and that would be A right here on the piano. So let's put another note head here on G just for reference. Now, what if we want to go even higher than A? Well, we can use another ledger line and put a note head sitting on top of that ledger line, which gives us B right here on the piano. Now to go a little higher than that, now we need two ledger lines and once again, we have a note on the line, two ledger lines up, which gives us high C. You can find that right here on your piano. You'll notice this is two C's above middle C. Here's our treble C, and middle C is way down here. Two C's up gives you high C. Now let's keep going even higher. We have two ledger lines again, and we can put the note head on top of that second ledger line. That gives us D. Now, if we want to go a step above D, how many ledger lines will we need now? That's right, we're going to need three ledger lines. And if this was D, tell me what note this would be. That's right, this is E, and we can keep going even higher than that. Step up from E is F. And then if we wanted to keep going even higher still, we can get four ledger lines all the way up to G. And technically, it could keep going up from there as high as you would like to go. There's no limit to the number of ledger lines you can do. The only limit would be how many notes your instrument can actually play. Here's a little challenge for you. How many ledger lines would it take to get to the highest C on your piano? If you can figure that out, leave a comment for me below in the comments. Now, do you notice a pattern here? Let's point to each note and say whether it's a line note or a space note. Try it with me. Space, line, space, line, space, line, space, line. You'll notice that the stepping up pattern on ledger lines is the same as if the notes were stepping on the staff. Stepping always goes from a line to a space, whether it's on the staff or whether it's on ledger lines and we only need to draw enough ledger lines to get to the note in question. Now let's practice naming some of these upper ledger line notes. I'm going to show you a little trick. These three upper ledger lines spell something. Can you figure out what they spell? Starting with this note, we have A, skips up to C, skips up to E. So that spells ace. So if you want to use these as kind of anchor or guide notes, you can use them to help figure out any other note. Like if you remember that these three ledger lines are A, C, E, ace, then you can remember this is E, so that has to be F. Can you point to upper ledger note B? If you're pointing right here, you're correct. Now, can you find that note and play it on your piano? If you're playing this note, you're correct. Now point to upper ledger note E. If you're pointing right here, you're correct. Now try to find and play that note on your piano. If you're playing right here, you're correct.
Can you point to upper ledger note C? If you're pointing right here, you're correct. Can you point to upper ledger note D? If you're pointing right here, you're correct. Now try to play it on your piano. If you played this note, you're correct. Okay, let's check out how the ledger lines work in the bass clef. If I place a note right here on the bass clef ground G line, that note is right here on your piano. Now if I wanted to go a step below ground G, would I need a ledger line? No, actually. I can just use this space right below this bottom line, which gives me low F, step below ground G. What if I want to go a step below that? Then yes, I would need a ledger line. I can draw one right here. And this gives me low E, which is right here on your piano. Can you find low E on your own piano and play it? Great. Now, if we want to go a step below that, we still only need one ledger line because we can use this space right below it. That gives us low D right here on your piano. Try and find it on your piano too. Great, now let's go a step below that. That brings us to low C. This is two C's below middle C. We have middle C here, bass C, then low C. And let's see where those are on the piano. Here's middle C, then bass C, then low C. Find those on your piano. Great, now to go a step below that, we need two ledger lines again. We can step down to B, which is right here on your piano. To go any lower, we need three ledger lines now. That brings us to low A. Let's pause here to notice a pattern. And it's interestingly the same pattern we found in the treble clef. Here's A, here's C, and here's E. So these three lower ledger lines also spell A's, A, C, E. You can use that as a tool to help you figure out your lower or upper ledger line notes. Now let's go a little bit lower. Still only need three ledger lines and that brings us down to low G. And then with four ledger lines, we can get all the way down to very low F. Let's try and find that on your piano. It's right here on mine. Great, now let's play a quick game. I'll put a note on the screen and you tell me what its name is. What note do you see? If you said A, you're correct. Remember, these three lines spell A, C, E, A's. What note do you see? If you said D, you're correct. This is the E lower ledger line of the top ledger line of our A, C, E pattern. It's a step below that, a D. What note do you see? If you said B, you're correct. Can you find this low B on your piano? It's right here. What note do you see? If you said low C, you're correct. Now let's do a few upper ledger line notes. What note do you see? If you said E, you're correct. Can you find that high E on your piano? It's right here. What note do you see here? If you said D, you're correct. Can you find it on your piano? It's right here. What note do you see? If you said A, you're correct. Can you find it on your piano? High A is right here. Nice work today learning about ledger lines and reviewing our guide notes. For even more practice with ledger lines, you can download the complete materials for this unit from our website and find the ledger lines worksheets for this lesson. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time. Ledger lines are cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're like the boundary pushers, the explorers of the musical staff. Uh, yeah, most notes are content to stay safely within the shelter of those five staff lines, but not ledger line notes. They are the pathfinders boldly going where no note has gone before. They're off the chart. Off the staff, you mean? Right. Hey, you know what would be fun? Let's really push it to the limit and figure out how many ledger lines it would take to get to the very highest note on Mr. Hoffman's piano. Okay, would you mind drawing for me? You have the best handwriting. Okay, I'll pace it off on Mr. Hoffman's piano and tell you how many ledger lines to draw. Ready for ledger line drawing duty, sir? Okay, we're here near treble G and I'll move myself up to flag F. From flag F, every extra ledger line is one skip or a third higher. Ready to draw some ledger lines, princess? Ready! All right, I'll start counting out how many ledger lines we need. Let's see, starting on flag F, skip up, one ledger line, two ledger lines, skip up, three ledger lines. You getting this? Yep, I'm getting it all right. Okay, skip up, Four ledger lines, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ledger lines, and it's a A, B, C. It's a high, high C. Do you get that? Yeah, I got it. Come and take a look. Okay, coming. <sighs> wow, that is one extreme note. I hope he's not afraid of heights. <laughs> not him. He's on top of the world. The highest note you can play on the piano, the king of the mountain.